been dropped. And, you know, I had it pre-ordered and everything. I'm not actually happy. You know, um, this is an old school style game. Yes, it says load game, but I was testing out. Just see if I got everything on it that I was supposed to. So we're just going to jump into the game. What the nostalgia I had from back when I was younger. I mean, the full game just dropped minutes ago, and it's like, yeah, I am happy. I've been dying to play this game. Um, it has risen again. Well, I'll let Sir the Daniel Fortescue. See? And then I'll the hero of Galomir who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we knows better. What the hell? Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Zarok and live up to the legend. We hope it does well. Okay, hey, I do well. So now Zarok's gonna rule the world. Anyways, um, after my PS4 had to be reset and everything, um, I actually had to redo the demo. So, you must yeah. be out of shape after 100 years. Okay, yeah. Any treasure? I'm just making sure to open up all books because they do have information. When you're that ready you to might leave this crypt, you'll find an exit at the end. Yeah, and you can't get out the exit. And the claws being greedy about it. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They and I did find out that Dan's helmet actually makes you weaker. It pretty much puts the game in in kind of an extreme mode. But this is something I was at. It's called the super armor. A golden armor, if you will. Ooh, nice. Some nice, weapons nice. contain powers and a Yes, yes, I can charge weapons. During your travels through Galamir, you will collect... Now, um, this episode will be a little bit longer than the demo, because I'm actually going to jump from this area 
to the next one. Track down Zero. Yes, yes, I know. <clears throat> I mean, holy cow. and all that. <coughs> so how's our bite day been going? Mine kind of crappy. Tried to get the uh, um, heater fixed here and yeah, no go on that. <coughs> so... But just to let you guys see the inventory. And we have this. We have a book of Galomir. Which I might read that probably after the playthrough. Because it's going to be a lot. Of stuff. Ooh, money. And yes, guys, I agree with you. Little ass. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Wow. Okay, they want to do it over my dead body. Get you down. That's a magic fountain of rejuvenation. Oh, oh yeah, we got that up here. Like some being a dirt. Sometimes it may be you use the different viewpoint. It's called Dan Cam. And you can actually turn the camera behind you to look through your own eyes. <coughs> Move on to the next area. The object here is the chalice. Every time you dispatch.
I thought that was so funny. Wait, you can walk you back. Just run around swinging. But the skull gate there is where we're going to be trying to go on the second one. Yes, we will have to come back here. <coughs> but not from the start in the break from the break on the bridge. Feel free to have a paddle in the shallow water, but don't be tempted to go for a swim. Buoyancy can be a problem for those of a dead disposition. <laughs> yeah, what that means is... What we want to keep he healed up is our health will transfer to the next level. So, yeah. Tread softly. Zarek awaits beyond these gates. The master meets with the demon from the mausoleum, hatching plots of purest evil. Forgotten nobodies would be wise to make themselves scarce. Yeah. Forgotten nobodies. I'll show you. So I'm going to the mausoleum. Hey, Zero. Yo. Uh, I forgot to tell you that the brownies I made today are in the bottom of the fridge. Okay. That way, if you want any. Yeah. Welcome okay. to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. If they think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Yeah, they even put a... ...in here, so, yeah. To pay homage to the heroes, stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Ooh, we get the crossbow first thing. Sorry, guys. I've just always had a liking of the crossbow. But, look there. Look familiar. <laughs> it's me! I will be a hero, but I like him too. Love that, love that hammer. I do, I love it. Only when you are truly worthy as a hero will you be able to ascend to the higher level of this hall. When you have paid homage to all of the heroes in the lower hall, the ghostly stairs will then become solid. Yeah, that's the way they kind of get you to collect the chalices even back then because couldn't collect them like that. 
where he was, he actually gives you a broadsword. And you get a hammer from him. And there's a secret though. If you collect all the chalices, this door will open up. And revealing another hero. A hidden hero, if you will. Yay. I got one. But still. It's me, Canny Tim. Does the battle go well? <laughs> How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and it can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Zarek's champion, Lord Kardak. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. <laughs> Not that there's anything clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. <coughs> oh. Goodbye, sir. <laughs> See, it's ready for me to go. All right, I want to go. Bolts. If I need to, because. Bing. I mean, I've had one of those weeks that just, uh, now we're at Cemetery Hill. Now, I might stop the video after this area, you know, kind of keep it to like two, er two areas a video to where they're not too short, not too long. You know, so yeah. I'm just rocking with that golden armor. And actually, you get the golden armor for free. It's how I got it. Oh, I remember this one. Sir, even from the shackles of death, my old enemy pursues me. You're too late, Fortescue. Already my army has risen from the grave. You will never leave this necropolis. <laughs> Sir, you bastard, I will leave this necropolis and kick your ass. Some obstructions can be smashed down with clubs and certain yeah. other weapons. Try experimenting. You can kind of catch what they're meaning. And the next weapon is getting at the Hall of Heroes. Ow, 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 ow. Great archaeological interest. Destroy the boulder and plunder the valuable treasures within. Yeah, now some areas will have stuff like this. There's supposed to be a club here that you can get. I ain't seen it. 
you're on blind, you're on this. Oh, I think I have to get back here. The club is a crude but effective weapon. Bash with it, burn <coughs> with it, but beware, one bash too many, and it will break. Yep. So that's something you got to remember with the club. A coven of the morty old hags lived here once, unholy fires burning all night while they brewed up unspeakable muck in their cauldrons. They moved on years back, but the smell still makes our eyes sting. Hmm, that should tell us something there, guys. <laughs> Witches. A guide to covens for witches and witchcraft enthusiasts. A witch's coven would reach the height of its power only when all of their sacred flames were alight. Witches have been known to offer help to the questing adventure, yet they are a reclusive people and have to be summoned by the aid of mystic charms or talismans. Let it be known that help from a witch is rarely given freely, and the witch will more often than not make a request of the adventure before any such help is given. If seeking to summon a witch, remember that they are quite territorial. Any signs of previous witch activity in an area is a good indication that a witch can be called upon. Yep. So, that should have told what we gotta do. We wanna go through and clear everything out, cause we have to light this. To unlock the chest. The talisman and that vial. Circle sticks it out. Yay. Yay. Stick it out with circle.
had a life, my one life bottle. But um, now that we have the witch's talisman, we can be able to summon witches. So, yeah. Which that's going to be an interesting part. I need to find now the chalice. I don't remember where it is. Like I said, I'm being a derp tonight, so can we buy more clubs? using this now the witch item we can actually summon witches to specific areas good thing I came back because <laughs> if I wouldn't have uh, yeah I'd have been screwed screwed brood tattooed one screw through tattoo dude. <laughs> Damn, I almost put that in hell. <laughs> it shouldn't take away all my stuff. It should just put me back at the first. With everything. Well, that's going to make this play a little interesting. I'm going to end up dying a lot. <laughs>
to go. Boy, all the old gaming references. The adventurer would be wise to be thorough in the exploration of an area. Hidden locations reap great rewards. Yeah. They're kind of telling you, uh, don't skip out on the hidden area because it might have the challenge or other good that you may need. the next weapon which will be the warhammer if i remember correctly which that weapon is bad ass Ooh. sorry back from the battle so soon it must think it is a hero by now but only a true hero is worthy of a place in the hall of heroes See the ghostly statue of your fraudster self? When it has turned solid, a true hero you will be. Yeah, that's kind of a hint. If you, whenever you beat Zerok, or you get all the chalices, your statue will become full on solid, and it will have and you will be a true hero. Oh, we go back here. Here you guys. My drinks. My... Hurrah! I knew it would take more than the army of the evil dead to throw your strides up. I have something that may help you on your quest, Captain. I give it to you freely, though I have no idea what it is. They'll give you life bottles, other times they'll give you coin, stuff like that. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm gonna call this video here, guys, because next is gonna be the mausoleum. And yeah, there's a mini boss fight in there. I would tell who it is, but you know, if you haven't played it, I don't want to spoil it for you. <clears throat> so, leave a like. If you're new, hit the
that subscribe and I will see you until the next video.